I, this, I think, like the last three, four years, I've, I've never heard so much Haitian comments or like sayings in each record. Like you know, from Rick Ross to to I mean, the one everyone. You just played uh, uh, Future. Yeah, you know, even Future I come was looking like, for you with some Haitians. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, smoking yeah. some good Jamaican. Yeah, yeah. are, 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 are you the influence, Clef? Like you see, Meek Mill's did you, this shit over. You, you got to tell me that. I don't know. I'm just in it. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> Whatever, Clef. I'm that Flatbush. You know, left Haiti. <laughs> got robbed by Decepticon at yeah. a young age. You wow! Know what I'm yeah, see, he went I, through I, it. I was I was on the bush, you know, and the man say, "Yeah, where you from? No, nah, man, me not here, son. I jump me a country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where it. where every Haitian learn a Jamaican accent. You you ask the Haitian, yo, where you from? Nah, man, I'm not from Haiti. I'm For from real? Canada. That's how yeah. it was. Yeah. You know? I told him that that used to be like that when I went to Tilden in Brooklyn. Yeah. Like a lot of Haitians were saying they was Jamaican, and when you guys came out, the Fujis, yeah. yeah. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wanted to Wait, be Haitian. That so was you, a stamp. Fam, you got you gotta you gotta understand the Haitian thing for me was something that I lived and breathed as a youth. Mm. Like you right. gotta understand in school when you have like Haitian Day, where they decide on Friday that's when they're gonna be Haitian. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And there was an era wow. when the Haitians Forgot decided that, that they not gonna have it no more and they raised arms. You feel me? Yeah. So what I did was keep, keep in mind, coming into the music business. I ain't the first Haitian. So before me, like you had like Kango, UTFO, mm. all of these right, dudes. Right, oh, right, yeah, right. Right. And it wasn't yelling out, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, nah, because like the idea of you almost like saying you was Haitian, it almost was like to them was like a curse. Mm. So for me, my whole mission was when I was watching what Snoop, Snoop Dogg and them was doing, I was like, yo, I'm going to put my country on the map. And for me, the biggest day was at the Grammys when before I went on yeah. and I'm like yo I can't go on without my Haitian flag. flag and I ain't yep. even thinking about the I'm wow. at the Grammys yeah. I'm like yo if the flag could get up you know that's gonna put us on the map so looking at it back today you know I'm just excited that every other record you know it's Haitian and you gotta understand the whole industry now it's like if you don't have a Haitian holding you down back in yeah. you it's know, a rap Especially you when you go down to Miami. You can't go on vacation <laughs> anymore. You don't have a Haitian holding you down. You know, you're making a lot of money. You know you're going to get extorted. You already know that. So. I mean, you know, the biggest day, the biggest day for me, I had, uh, you know, not only you coming up here, but I had Mac and call me from the pen, called up here and said, yo, nobody fucks with who, kid? Because, you know, there was some bullshit with me going to Miami. And yeah, niggas trying to touch me. I don't give a fuck. Nobody really, if yo, you want me to press that back and so button. I had to call up here, and I made yeah. sure that shit was on every blog. Cause yeah. I want people not to fucking but, come near me. Yeah, but. Mac Mac is like a brother to me, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, I go. There's a video if y'all go watch called MVP Compa. Get out with here. me and the the current president of Haiti. Michelle Martin. Wow. Mean, meaning what? Don't mean to cut you off. Meaning what though? The the video, right? Like you go online. The video is called MVP Compa. Get the and fuck out of here. Is the the Compa is like you know how you have reggae. That's like our, our traditional dance. Okay. okay. But we right, did. Right. I did a video like that. So in the start of the video, it's like me, Mac, Mac is old black boy, and the current president of Haiti. Yeah. Is in the video, and before wow. he's president, this years ago, we was like Sweet Mickey, president of Haiti. The epiphany was, you know, I took like close to seven years off, really. Yeah. Like helping my country, mm. you know, helping put a president in place. Oh, man. And it's like, you know, back to my ultimate power, which is the music. So right now, um, when you don't come out in seven years, what's the first thing you're going to talk about? So the mixtape is called April Showers. The first <laughs> yeah. joint we oh, put shit. out. You know I got to press this button. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First joint, <laughs> first joint we put out is a joint called Hip Hop. Yeah, yeah. And okay. um, just 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 warming up. But basically, the joint with Hip Hop, because when I'm at the barbecue with my little cousins, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, you know, they are disrespectful to the older rappers. You know what oh I'm saying? Oh, my that's gosh. Their, right? that's the, you that's feel every, me? Like, their favorite line is, Uncle Clef, old heads are yeah, watched old the heads. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> I had, yo, <laughs> yo, first thing I had to do for them, right? So, I sat with them. And I started going through the YouTube, and I was like, okay, you see 2 Chain, He's like Slick Rick. Mm, I said, you yeah. hear Waka when he go, huh, let me show you ODB, because yeah. I got a chance to just... So Give that was the, the first record we put out. The second record where, you know, we start getting it in is a record called Mid Midlife Crisis. We sent the exclusive to you. Yeah, of course, I got Midlife that. Midlife Crisis um, because of all the controversy around me. Right. I mean, um, and then after that, we go in. The album is slated for September, the album Refugee Republic. Right now, everybody I'm working with, um, I got a chance to be in the studio with 2 Chain. Oh, um, my God. I could imagine, oh, man. man. T.I., Yo. <laughs> Trey the Truth, uh -huh. Waka Flocka, wow. Estelle. Um, so the album is definitely going to be crazy. But the mixtape, I went back to hip-hop, mm. which is my origin. And the reason why is, like, if you look at a dude, you say, man, you know, a kid that's 15 or 16, he know me from running for president. 
So if he could hear me spit as hard spit, yeah. a, as when I was running for the campaign, Ooh. what is this going to change that mentality? You did? Right, right. So that's what we on right now. Holy yeah. shit, man. I, you know, we, we just had a lot of wild stories today. Like, you know, even with the Lil Wayne going in, he's banging, what's his name's wife, uh, Chris Bosh's wife. I know you heard that. That's kind of like out of control out there, huh? This is our industry who can. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, who can, who can wants to, because the whole thing was. I got 50 yeah, early on yeah, it, yeah, and he yeah, was you're, shocked. You're, you're a liar. 50 weekend. called like two hours ago. 50 yeah. was like, what? Well, yeah, because he didn't know about it. He didn't know, you know, the whole story about it. <laughs> But the whole thing is your live weekend. Right. It's like we have our, um, Oscar Perotti, whatever his name is, the the Blade Runner, the, the NPC. Yeah, the, yeah. that yeah. killed his wife. That killed his wife. Did, did he lie about that? Because he said it was a burglar. And he shot her. Mm-hmm. Wayne beating Chris Bosh's wife or <laughs> AP Nine fucking Coco on um, Coco. So yeah. so much shit going on with these dudes that's lying. Are they lying? And it's in the industry. I mean, well, when it comes to the idea of whether if we're faithful or the scandal of of. Uh, that surrounds us around twat, pussy. The <laughs> idea, twat. I didn't hear that in a minute. The idea of <laughs> of falling for the apple, you know, like right. us as men, that that temptation will always be there. Mm. But I always tell dudes, right, the best way to be is just to be yourself. Because at the end of the day, like you know, if you don't put on that. That that too, because the lie gonna come out anyway. It's gonna come. It's out. just a matter of time. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. you got to make sure you got a, a a publicist that that handles that crisis because right, right. it's gonna come out. Yeah. Right. But at the end of the day, this is what I'm saying, dog. We all a human, mm. you know. But I always say the idea of somebody killing somebody, I ain't never for that. You know what I mean? Right, right. But as far as like temptation. You know, like that happens, happens once happens. in a while. Do you, you, do you think that's the you think that's the downfall of a lot of uh, artists out there, like women, <laughs> pussy, whip? The, the downfall <laughs> of artists. That's the downfall of Rome. <laughs> that's the downfall of the government. What that's up? the downfall yes, of Congress. Yes, yes. Like we celebrities, we play the last part of that shit. <laughs> yeah, We're yeah. supposed to get pussy, man. Yeah. What are you talking about, man? I got it's natural. I, I got a question for you, Clef. Like in the song "Hip Hop," you say you know Waka reminds you of ODB mm. and. Uh, I forget who else you said it reminds you of Slick Rick. Mm-hmm. Now, your man Lil Wayne says he's the new Tupac. Now, does he resemble Tupac in your opinion? Well, I mean, I once again, he that's his opinion. <laughs> that's his opinion. And, and he has Clef is to going have political. that. He has, no, no, not at all. <laughs> he has that. You feel me, right? I'm, I'm putting on my white boy. Um, no, not at all. Right? I got Because Lil Wayne is listening. But <laughs> at the end of the day, that's his opinion. He can feel that. Personally. I know to you know I, I had a chance to be in a room with Tupac, right? And he's a character by himself, and you so know you don't see no resemblance. No, 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 no. Okay, no, not no, not 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 in the least. No, I see, I see <laughs> Little Wayne in a league by himself. Mm-hmm. I see Tupac in a league by himself. True, okay. Tupac reminded me a little bit of the Fugees mm. in this sense. If you pick up the Fuji's first album at the We Got That Check from the record company, mm-hmm. the album was called on Blunted on Reality. Right. The first song on the album we was talking about, we black folks ain't taking this shit from the Ku Klux Klan no more. Wow. It's a young generation and fuck the KKK. Right. Like when you are, when you, when be, I'm saying before you blow up, the fact like you don't know if you're going to make it in your first statement is, is just based right. on... The, the 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 vibe of the you know so with, with Tupac that's the vibe that I get okay. in the sense of like anti-establishment mm. you know like I'm talking about his first joint like when he coming out just the idea of like at the end of the day um it's just a different thing having a chance to be in the studio with Lil Wayne having a chance to see Lil Wayne at a video shoot I think he has his own aura and his own character oh, you energy know what I'm saying right. like whole, whole his whole energy so now, he- if you ask my daughter that <laughs> <laughs> she's okay. she's gonna have a whole nother view for you yeah. okay. because for her and her time that's her tupac okay. yeah because she ain't never meet tupac, tupac. So, i did so you do you think little wayne has his own set of jeans of course like mm. no i'm talking about skinny jeans <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah don't act like man yeah, yeah, yeah. number one don't ask clef man he has some bicycle short pants for time yeah, yeah. what was no, that no, about no, no 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 listen i saw you come out man i didn't talk about that yo listen listen what was that about clef i got you man Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> yo, you were ill, kid. Yo, 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 you are yo, about yo, to yo, do party with the and then, nigga. Uh, that's my nigga anyway. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, you know it was a warm up to that, right? <laughs> Man, all I can do, I got Speedos for sale. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the Ducati Speedos on my boy, Instagram. Boy, 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 boy. to you by shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's that Photoshop say? It was Photoshop, man. <laughs> nah, what they do? Cut it off and take a bottle. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. My joint called Midlife Crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, man. Yeah, yo, that's what happened when you turn 40. Man. You nah. little nigga, you laughing. Wait till you turn 40. I'm gonna say no, 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 Clem. Yo, this nigga you lying. Nigga, yo, Clem. Nigga. This nigga look like a pumpkin right now. Yo, his gut, man. Yo, his gut, man. You see how I get flipped? <laughs> yo, but I, I, I mean, you know, y'all niggas set me up. Y'all, right. y'all set me up. Just warming with, it up. Yeah, like, y'all was like, yeah, like, skinny jeans, skinny jeans, yeah. nigga. <laughs> What's up with this? <laughs> but, uh, but you know, speaking with, with Lil Wayne, like with Lil Wayne, I seen him perform too. Also, bring out a guitar, and I'm like looking at him like. See now, I think he's growing as an artist to become, you know, to change over. Like he wants he to it. change, but, but does he? But does he know how to artist. play it though? It's but does he know artist. how to play the yes, guitar? Yes, when I seen it, he was playing. Oh, you not as playing. good as Clef, like, but you know, I never seen yeah. a, a rapper play guitar. Like uh, that's something I never seen before. But I he seen didn't music. really OD. He like he played, played what bit. he can play. Right. He didn't try to be like, yo, I can play the guitar. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I think you have uh, Bob. Yeah, who plays, and I think the the fact. That little Wayne would even pick up an instrument mm -hmm. and hold it. That says a lot. And play power chords. It just says a lot. Yeah. It okay. just shows mm -hmm. like he's trying to move the yeah. music forward. Okay, you know yeah. what I mean? Definitely. <clears throat> Speaking of battler, uh, battler is uh, you see Meek Mills did uh, Ready or Not over. Right? What do you think about that? that I think I think it's incredible, man. You know, like he's influenced uh, by the Fugees to even yeah. do the beat to over. Do that. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a young kid too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's dope. You know, like that beat I did it in the Booger basement. Wow. You know what I mean? Like. Like 107, uh, the era in South Clinton Street, I remember it clearly right in the hood. There was a wow. crack there was a crack house behind there, you know. What? It was my uncle's house, Jerry's house, Jerry's dad's house. I was in a tiny small room and um I just saw the movie Sleepwalker. Get the fuck and, out uh, of it. <laughs> yeah. And after watching Sleepwalker, what? I um whatever the substance that i smoked at the time you know what i'm saying because <laughs> you got it you know that era was like the era of like the outsiders yes, you know what i'm yes. saying all wow. red man all yes. types <laughs> yes, oh, yes i don't know yes. what you're mixing this thing with you know wow, yes. types of and wow. then <laughs> as i sleep i hear do, 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 do. you wow. know what I'm saying? wake up i had the mp next to me chopped it just simple you know and um what and then i remember Lauren walking in the room, mm. and then she's like, "Ready or not, here, here I, I come. come." You know, oh, and that's oh, the man. vibe. So, so just to hear that, I always encourage a kid, man. I say, "Yo, the best record gonna probably come from right from your little room or your garage yeah, or your basement." Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Yeah. What, 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 listen to these young guys right now. Who you listen to right now? As far as like the young rapper out right now, that you like, you get excited when you hear his music. Right. You know, when I'm getting. On the the good thing is I get to just travel the world. Every time before I get on my iPad, mm. I say load me up. Mm. The best thing for me is when I'm like on that plane and I got like six seven hours to myself. Right. Wow. I'm going through Kendrick Lamar, oh. going through ASAP Rocky, wow. okay. going to Chief Keith. Okay, and guess what? It's like in all of them. I find something, you know what find I'm saying to you? Yeah, okay. It's like okay. when the dude is going, and it's like wow. you say, it's like melodically to see like hip hop comes to a level where dudes are rhyming and singing at the same mm. time. Yeah. You know, when a time when if you was like singing, you couldn't rap or was called alternative, right, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Um, I think, you know, ASAP, I think all of them dope. I think um, for me, you know, Kendrick Lamar, the the idea like the way he puts his stories together mm, yeah. you know i i definitely go into the imagination yeah. i definitely. was fight i was fighting kendrick yeah. at one time but now i'm all in yeah i was yeah. really fighting, but you know i'm all in because he was just his voice but then i'm starting listening to the stories like you said mm. and i'm all in and he got kendrick. multiple like styles and yeah, multiple word, octaves yeah. in the voice he, he also dresses us. like you too from back in the days man he just brought that shit back <laughs> yeah when i see it's funny man because you, you know you, you know, know that right it. yeah when i see that <laughs> but you know what it's funny though i understand what you're saying because me when i was his age and i was coming out it was very weird like 
I was dope to some people, and to others, I was straight up weird. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was like the Jamaican gear. Yeah, it like was the... like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was straight up. Yeah. It was weird because yeah. to a to a nigga, that's a a hood type. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But you gotta understand, I was in the projects too. I was just the weird kid in the projects. projects yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? But to like a dude, you know, so I'd be on the block, you know, and the real thorough niggas be like, yo. Go take that shit off, man. <laughs> yo, 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 what you got on, bro? Like, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, this shit is speedos, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you never, you never linked up with you never. <laughs> speedos, niggas, Ducati speedos, yeah, nigga. Stupid. Ducati speedos. You never linked up with all like the the weird dressing artists and have a chat like Andre three thousand. I, I know all y'all went through the same problem. Like, look at two chains now. Yo, two chains dress is crazy. Yeah, yeah, but you gotta for me. Celos number yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. Yeah, but definitely, I would say, you, will I am? Like yeah. all of uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I think we probably should have like maybe like a reunion of just the weirdos or something. <laughs> the you, know what I'm you know how the, you know how the pimps meet up and they do that pimp thing. They should do yeah. like a the weird nah, dress that's night. The I think Will I Am took Clef's I need Will I Am. Times <laughs> <before. laughs> huh? Serious. Will, I, Will, Will I Am. Uh -huh. He just took your whole thing and just ran with it as far as he's like a nigga Weisner. robot, yo. Yeah, like a nigga white club like, from the two thousands. Like I think you be looking crazy sometimes. Yeah, you know what's funny? Cause Will really looks like a relative of ours. <laughs> like, <laughs> like real talk. Like I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Like somewhere in Africa. <laughs> Or somewhere in maybe, Haiti, somewhere in Haiti, <laughs> you know. What I mean, I know Will was in California, but somewhere, yeah. somebody met yeah. up somewhere and was like, "Yo, you know what I mean?" And two W's. And oh, yo, <laughs> did y'all see? Yo, real talk. Did y'all see the convention when when the motherfucker was talking to Will? And then he was like, yeah. yeah, in the back, you know, he was oh, like, yeah, 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 that's why I cleft. Yeah, and the dude was like, no, 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 no. Well, that's why. That was during the Super Bowl. Yeah, like, yeah. He called him Wale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yo, man. let's take one more. Matter of fact, let's catch a caller real quick. We got to catch one of right, Wackler's right. fans real quick. This is tradition, Wackler, so don't worry about it. Yo, yo, Shay 4-5, what up? Who this? Hello? Yeah, what's your name, man? What's your, what's your name? Where you calling from? SS calling from Atlanta. Yo, SS from Atlanta, Easy. man. Did you get that thing? What? 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 These nuts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck me. You got me. These nuts. Oh, shut up, nigga. Yo, we always got to catch somebody. Yeah, catch it's tradition. <laughs> fuck your man. Yeah. <laughs> That's Triple fucked H up, Triple H, 845, one more. The <laughs> last caller for, for, for Club. Yo, we always catch him, too. Yo. Every yo, week. Yo, Shay 45, what up? Who this? Club is like, what the yo. fuck? Yo, yo, white, yo, white Club, man. I'm going to do this model to post it while... I'm quick for president call. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh yeah yeah he said if he said am i gonna run for president again okay first of okay. all man i know you from queens that's why your crayol is a little weird like who <laughs> <it's crayon. laughs> you and who kid, got that same like it don't make but been doing two up and running for president again <laughs> yeah my g well i mean the, the reason why i ran family was because i felt the urgency i felt like now mm. we got a president and i feel like if we can get good government mm. my position is to to work with good government you know what mm. i mean and i think more the way i be influenced is to just keep helping putting people in power that can help the country you know okay. what i mean mm -hmm. and um and i feel my job in the next five six years once i'm fully straight is to help bring investment and business back to haiti make haiti fly like they're doing with jamaica well, why can't we all put our money together and go build a hotel or something exactly, you know exactly. Like, let's exactly. Do it. we could do it's it it's so weird how it's in dr right next to the neighbors yeah. this is just like that but in haiti it's not like yeah, somebody putting that money behind DR, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I think more of us really have to get, I think it's more the trust factor. And I think Haiti got the worst PR in the world. Yeah. Where Haitians, we do. Haitians we do. themselves mm -hmm. promote Haiti in a bad way. You understand yeah. what Is that I'm saying because of the government? Like you can't like, all right, we're not going to put our money because of the Man, it's the that, I think we've been brainwashed since the kids with that mentality. Mm -hmm. You see a Jamaican, yo, Jamaica, yo, the crime rate in Jamaica? Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm going from Kingston three times. to the airport. <laughs> yeah. Body on the floor, stiff. Yeah, yeah. three times. I get to Kennedy Airport. Damn. Right? I take a cab and I say, let me do an experiment. So the dude driving the cab is Jamaican. Mm -hmm. And I say, yo, how is it out there in Jamaica? Say, like, yo. Jamaica, nice man. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Oh, I see what you you're feel saying. me? They all promote. I, 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 I did the same I see thing. Where you're going. I see where you're going. Hoodied yeah. up. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Ask the Haitian cab yeah. driver, yo, what's going on? No! 
Don't go to Haiti. They kidnap people. They kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, they're not doing that all over. I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? I see we what need that right PR. Yeah. We got to PR ourselves, man. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's like it's like it's in their DNA for Jamaicans to say that. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter where you yeah, are. Yeah, because they say yeah. it's nice. Jamaica yeah, it's nice. nice. Yeah. But it's, it's the same thing. It's the third one. It's mm. fucked yeah, up. We yeah, raised to, we raised automatically because, you know, first thing you say, hey, niggas, is Duvai. This shit was raised on terror. You know what I mean? So we need to change that because I feel the country is fly. And yo, I'm going to say this. I'm tired of every time somebody talking about Haiti now, they just talking about orphans. Yeah. And they talking about the earthquake. The earthquake. Yeah. Mm. Because everybody who go down there to take care of the orphans in the earthquakes on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, they on the beaches. Yeah. yeah. Chilling. So promote the the positive side and the, the shows side of going the on every fucking shows yeah. going shows. on every week. Performances. Flying. Well, yeah. you two need yeah. to get down there and promote that and let's have a party down there and club it out and cool kids. The moisture, club. All the Cause moisture. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I never had a whack Haitian pussy yet. Straight up. Serious? I love Haitian pussy. Sit up. Live, man. I love it. You're not successful. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> you said Haitian pussies. <laughs> whoa, whoa, pussy. Oh, okay. Never had a whack one yet, okay. and that should be fucking good. Damn, you have man, a Haitian you are pussy, so happy you know what I'm right saying? Now. What's I am. I never had a whack Haitian pussy. Yeah. But no, I had other white pussy. This the first time I've heard, and and I must tell you. That <laughs> I, I have to tell you. No, no, leave him alone, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, keep the publicists away from here. This shit is, this is fucked up. We have a conversation here. Don't have me get on my nigger stuff. <laughs> I'll get on my Django shit and pull my dick. <laughs> no, <laughs> chip, chip, get on your queen shit. <laughs> no, the, the crazy thing is the fact that you, you, you said it like that because usually when you get a Haitian woman, mm -hmm. like, they do something. And it's usually like hard to leave that one woman mm. in particular. So it's the, you know, like they have something. I need that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they do I have something. That. Maybe Rihanna's Haitian. <laughs> 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 that was good. Who? You get a bra, my nigga. That no. was good. Rah. Rah. One last uh, question before you get out of here, Clef. Where's all the money at, man? The money just disappeared? The, the America just... Right sort of just like put together to give to Haiti. Where did it Bi go? Billions. Where is it? Yeah, billions, billions right? right? So it was billions and billions yeah. and billions. If I can estimate where it went, it probably went George to Bush's house. No, no, yeah, but think about it. But think about what or, you just or said. Or Bill Clinton. Think about what you're saying, <laughs> nah, right? Not. No, think about it. So if, if I was to make an estimated guess, I would say the money probably went the same place the money for New Orleans went. Oh. I would say the money probably went the same place <laughs> oh, when there was a tsunami. That mm. money went. Yeah. Like, really think about it. You think it's like some ill secret? Right here. Sub it's just right up there. It's wow. always, but it's always that. And then we are distracted by the little, you know, I mean, you've seen it over yeah. and over again. You know right? bullshit, man. I'm yeah. still looking for the million man march money. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> if you want to keep it yeah, real. I ain't fucking with no Farrakhan, hey, yo, man. I want my five dollars I'm looking back. for that money. I ain't fucking with no Farrakhan, man. I, I want my five dollars back, full of money. Yo, yeah. what